How's it going everybody and welcome back to another Fusion 360 tips and tricks tutorial. Again, my name is Adam James. I am a plastics engineer with years of experience using CAD engineering software. Uh, I had a couple comments mentioning that I should script these out a bit more. Uh, so this is my first shot in that attempt. Hopefully moving forward, I can get these out on a more regular basis. I really want to start these in a more organized intent. Uh, I need to come up with a better name, but for now it's just going to be me uh, scrubbing the Fusion 360 forums uh, to see what problems some of these users are experiencing, or maybe even some funny posts that I may be able to jump in on and provide some value for you guys, as well as some entertainment, right? That's what this is all about. With that being said, uh, let's jump on into it. Uh, I had taken a look at this post previously, so I know this won't be a very long video, but uh, it should be helpful nonetheless, right? It should be helpful. Uh, and then I'm actually going to screen record on my Mac um, just to keep the aspect ratio in check. So uh, if this doesn't work well, let me know and I can change it to my monitor. Um, but this should this should be okay for now. So this is where we're gonna start. Uh, Justin Fraga or Fraga from the Fusion 360 Autodesk forums. He states that I'm struggling to do very basic things in Fusion 360, including moving sketches. The instructions here do not work for me at all. So I'm not gonna click on this. I'm assuming it's just a help video. He says, for example, I sketch a center point circle, then I want to move that circle. I right click, select move, and the dialog pops up saying no selection. The circle is no longer selectable. W WTF number one. Okay, well, that looks good on Autodesk, doesn't it? Um, so right off the bat, let's just go ahead and try it. Uh, I have tried this before, so I think I know what the solution is, but uh, let's just give it a shot. So I made a new folder, called it Can't Move a Sketch. I'll just do Create New Sketch and Create a New Sketch here. So let's see if we can replicate. Again, um, if you can hear the clicking of my mouse, let me know if it's distracting. I can try to, I, I don't know if that's turning the gain down on the microphone or what, but um, we, can, we can test things out as we move forward. So what I'm assuming, if he's drawing a new circle in the new sketch, He's probably just clicking right on the middle and going like this, right? That's at least that's what I would do. Um, so we'll escape and then let's go back here. He says, then I want to move that circle. I right click and select move and the dialogue pops up saying no selection. Okay, well, here's move. I just right clicked on the circle, left click on move copy. Um, I'm not getting that error, so that could be a you know, an update that maybe Fusion had. Um, this was in 2015, so we have, we are like five years later after this post has happened, but it has gotten a lot of views and is still getting a lot of views, so I figured this video is still um, of value. So let's just try moving it, right? It's five years later. Um, okay. 60 millimeters to the left. Let's click OK. So that didn't do anything. So what I suspect, and it looks like the first comment here, uh, looks like Innovate Nate uh, calls out, I suspect that you are creating the circle at the origin point. Does this sound correct? So that's my suspicion as well, right? He probably has just a coincidence, and there it is. <laughs> he has a coincidence constraint right at the middle. So let's go ahead and delete this. When I went ahead and created this circle, I'm actually creating a coincident constraint right at the origin of the sketch. And what that prevents me from doing is when you right click on it and then move, it's, it's, it's following the rule that was set in place prior to trying to move it, right? So it's going, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. And maybe we need an error message that pops up, but it's, it's not giving us that. So there's one of two things that you can do, right? One, you can click on the circle. You can go right to the middle here where that constraint takes place. 
you can right click on the constraint and do delete. Now my hope is that once we right click on this and then select move copy that it should move with us. Okay, so it's giving us a good preview. 60 millimeters to the left. Just give it a shot. Boom. And that works. I'm sorry, I need to close out of this. Um, so that seems to do the job. Let's try something a little more complex. Let's um, actually let's let's try the sketch or the circle uh, just out here without that constraint on the origin, right? Does that prevent us? Because if if so, that's another <laughs> that would be another problem, right? So we're going move copy. Okay, and that seems to work. Now, what I'm wondering too is if it's not just a coincident constraint. Say you have, uh, let's just put a line in here, right? Just put a line, make that a construction line, and then we have this circle, and we're going up like this. Now, is that giving us a constraint? horizontally no so we can move it around that's fine but say we make oops um, Mac <laughs> say we make these horizontal vertical okay so we should we should be able to move these and you can you can always test it out by yourself right if you're grabbing the middle of that circle you should be able to test whether your move command is going to work. If you're not grabbing the origin or the center of your circle, and that move command is probably not going to work. So if we click on move copy, right, this works just fine. And so does this. But what I can't do is move it and not move not move this line because I already created that constraint right but that's not what this post was going on about right it's uh it's simply about the origin of that circle so I think this is solved in my opinion um, let's go ahead and delete this let's go back to the post just make sure okay Justin says I change mode from bodies sketches to move sketch objects and now I can select the center point and get the manipulator progress then I move it along the x-axis let's say 30 300 millimeters click OK and then nothing happens so I think what happened there is he didn't delete that coincident constraint in the middle right going back I find the only change I can make is rotating the circle about a moved pivot point for some reason that actually moves the sketch uh, I'm not necessarily sure what that means if we go back to the sketch let's delete this create a circle as he does uh, and then move it about a pivot point I mean that let's try move set pivot right there Okay. Hmm. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm not necessarily sure what he's talking about, but because we have the solution and you don't have to go and set a pivot point, I think that's that's okay for now, right? Um so let's keep going down here. Thanks for making a screen okay, somebody makes a screencast. Left click, this guy says delete coincident, trippy lightning. Um so I think that's the solution to this is just delete that coincident constraint. Now, let's say you had a more in-depth sketch, say it was a little more complex, right? And you want to move that whole thing. The first thing that I would do, and I'll just create one really quick. It doesn't have, you know, just like it. Something like this, right? Okay. And what we want to do is move this. Now, I'm guessing it's still not going to let us move it because we have the coincident constraint at the origin at the middle. Yeah, see? 
it's not letting us move it at all actually so let's click OK so if we want to move that whole sketch let's delete these we will select the entire sketch holding down the left uh, mouse button right click move copy huh okay well we're running into an issue somewhere oh here delete that constraint so my assumption is that once all these lines are blue and we don't have that kind of coincident constraint at the origin here we can now manipulate it if we move copy boom there it is so I think that's the solution um, again this doesn't have to necessarily happen at the origin itself it could happen if you set a, a constraint on another object and then uh, if you can't move the object or doesn't show you the preview that's a good sign that you probably have restricted that sketch uh, with a constraint somewhere along the line uh, and it's not necessarily a bad thing you just need to go and find what constraint you had assigned to it so I think that's it that's the end of this video uh, please leave some comments like subscribe uh, and I will catch you on the next one take care Bye.